Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. Ashley. And as always, we're getting on with season two of the Boondocks and we're on episode three. Thank you for not snitching. So, as always, we're looking forward to it. So, of let's course. get into it. You can tell, so you can tell something's about to go down. Right. Yo, what up? Yeah. <laughs> These two yuckle fucks. This is gonna be funny. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I see you too. What you want, nigga? Oh man, same <laughs> shit. What's that? That's Samuel L. Jackson, obviously. What's up with you? The fuck you mean? What's up with me? I'm sitting right here next to you. Boy, sounds real sexy right now. Say what? You want to talk to me later on? Then? No, I don't want to talk later on, motherfucker. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck's so sexy about my voice? Oh, man, my bad. I was on the phone. Oh, great. You got one of those ridiculous fucking headsets. Man, I don't know what you be talking about. Bitches like this shit, man. They be thinking I'm one of them men's in black or something like that. You know, they think I got big things going on, you know? They be wondering where the black limo is at. When they see, all they see is the headpiece, they assume <laughs> it's a black limo. You know what I'm saying? Yo, know, back in the day, it kind of was like that. If you saw somebody with a Bluetooth earpiece back in 2006, like... Yeah. You were important. They were either important or a total dickhead. <laughs> and, or just very, un I I don't know. It was, it was just kind of funny because Bluetooth popped off. and Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's the house right here. Okay, okay, check it out. Like, last week, right, I was in the strip club, right? I had titties in one hand, titties in the other hand. I had two hands full of titties. That's bigger than two scoops of raisins. I'm still talking to my account at the same time. What's not to like about that? Okay, first of all, I don't know when you're talking to me or when you're talking on the goddamn phone. Second, when people wear those things, they appear to be talking to themselves. There's a name for people <laughs> who talk to themselves, Ed. They call the homeless. Man, bitches love this Bluetooth shit. It changed my life. I don't know what to do with my hands now. Be that as it may, no technology is worth my dignity. If talking on a wireless headset mean I gotta look like Buck Rogers, then I'm not interested. Besides, there's a reason why people hold a phone to their head, Ed. It lets people around you know you're talking on the phone. So those people know not to waste time talking to you until you finish, which you indicate by putting that motherfucker away. Anytime I gotta walk past somebody and I know they're gonna stop me, like somebody soliciting at the grocery store. To automatic. Yeah, no, I'm on my phone. Getting up. No, nope, can't hear you. <laughs> or I wear my headphones. Wear your headphones and yeah, just play at the down. grocery store. Oh, uh, yeah. I just put my headphones. That's smart. In. That's smart. You know, I like the way your booty looks when you're bending over. I like that. <laughs> Very sexy. Mm -hmm, I can make the way your booty looks when you're bending over. <laughs> He's still trying to talk. You know, I like the way your booty looks when you're bending over. I like that a lot. Very sexy. Mm -hmm. I can make it over there later. Yeah, I'm real ready. I hate these fucking headsets. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys weren't lying. Season two definitely stepped it up with with how funny it is. It's. it's good. I am the stone that the builder oh. refused. I am the visual, yeah. the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark, so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet so in the gun, in the glow that lets um, you know to call your brother son. Yeah. So, what, there was a copyright strike. I want to tell you guys this real quick. The last video we put out with Usher. With the Usher one. Yeah, there was a, a music copyright thing on it, so. People in Russia can't see this video, which who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, Usher doesn't really mind that it was in the States, but yeah, just a fun little fact. Hello. Yeah, hello. Story that just begun, the promise of what's to come, and I'm going to be so funny. That always gets me. <laughs> It was the third house to get robbed in Woodcrest in less than a week. The police were talking to everyone on our street for clues. Came from that area over there. Uh, running. Well, almost, almost everyone. Do they gallop still? Or he had a gallopy gait. 
to him. This guy, officer, I'm not finished. Hello, sir. I'm Officer Calloway. I'm here to... I, I didn't see nothing. Uh, I don't know nothing. Right. Cheers. Uh, 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 <laughs> Granddad Cheers. really didn't know anything about the break-ins, but his unwillingness to talk with the police is a common trait with black people. It's no secret that black people are culturally inclined against snitching. Hey, I ain't seen nothing. Hell no! Man, fuck your mom. <laughs> but recently, what was once an unwritten rule about snitching has become a full-blown stop snitching movement. Complete with merchandise. Take the murder of 19-year-old Jermaine Lojack Walker, who was shot during a street basketball tournament in the middle of a summer afternoon in front of at least 300 eyewitnesses. Nobody even called the cops. They all just went home. But despite the cultural stigma against it, a whopping one in 12 black men in poor neighborhoods is an active informant. You damn right, Mr. Police, man. I saw the whole thing. That means every party, every cookout, every wedding, probably has someone secretly working as an informant. Where I live, snitching is more like a recreational hobby. They even have a club for snitching. It's called the Neighborhood Watch. No snitching! Hold it right there, boy. Woodcraft Neighborhood Watch. Now, where was you at 11 o'clock last night, huh? Huh? Come on now. Don't lie to me, nigga. Nigga, I was in bed. No, you wasn't. I seen you with my own eye. You was robbing white people's houses, wasn't you? And, oh, look at them wheels. The law say when the bicycle stop, the wheel's supposed to stop. You need a special <laughs> payment for wheels like that. Oh, come back here. I'm calling the police. Stop! Can we bring in the army? How long will we wait on the police to protect us? Can we bring in the army? This is a tragedy. The white man ain't never done nothing to nobody, and he don't deserve this. Wait, everyone, please, order. People, calm down. This is our fault. We've let the predators think we're we. Had the Department of Homeland Security ruled out terrorism. It was them Freeman boys. I'm telling you, you can't trust them no nigga. Yeah, I said it. Now, Ruckus, that's <laughs> great. They're so innocent. Why won't they talk to the police? <gasps> what did he say? Yeah, why? Why wouldn't they? Doesn't sound like innocent behavior to me. <gasps> why wouldn't they want to talk to the police? I love talking to the police. We're going to go check them out. <laughs> if the cops won't make them talk, I'll make them talk. Mrs. Von Hausen, the Neighborhood Watch is not a law enforcement agency. No interrogations. Now, if you visit the Freemans and ask them to join the Neighborhood Watch, that would be great. And let's all of us reach out to all our other neighbors to help us keep an eye out, okay? Well, that's sensible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're going to reach out all right. She She's trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. What the hell do y'all want? Well, ask the questions around here, Robert. Ask the question, Miss Von Howden. I don't have time oh, for this oh. crap. Get out the way, old white woman. Mr. Freeman, <laughs> we are from the Woodcrest Neighborhood Watch. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know, we've had some home invasions recently. Mm -hmm. We were concerned to hear that you refused to talk to the police. I didn't see nothing. You tell him, Granddad. No snitching. You've also refused our previous invitations to join the Neighborhood Watch. Uh -huh. But we could use your support. Our motto is... Neighbors watching neighbors. Oh, I'm watching all right. I'm watching this neighborhood become a bunch of damn tattletales. <laughs> Good one, Granddad. You killing him. Oh. Property <laughs> was stolen, <laughs> Mr. Freeman. Stolen. The sanctity of our community Thank was violated. Stop, Kitty. I ain't got time for this bullshit. Boy, I'll be back tonight. Move the hell out of my <laughs> robber. Did you just touch a white woman? <laughs> Sorry to touch you, Miss Van Houten. We'll make sure you get sterilized life. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Did you hear what he said? No, what did he say? He said, I'm sorry he touched you, Miss Van Hazen. We'll get you sterilized later. Move the hell out of my <laughs> robber. Did you just touch a white woman? Sorry he touched you, Miss Van Hazen. We'll make sure you get sterilized later. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, boy. <sighs> Go to bed soon. Good night, Granddad.
shit like mine, you can run on the phone right now. Nah, baby, I'm still here. Ah! Oh, shit. What was that? Uh. Come on. <laughs> Word down to Jim is that he done wore the same pair of drawers for the last three days. And you know yeah, that? Power tank, oh, right? like then he Amanda. plays a power record ball. Then he go and lift weights. Why'd you say, why'd you yeah. say, Miss Mom? Shit, he, he just hating. Cause see, I ain't even tell Janet anything about what you told me. Would you get off that fucking phone? Right, shit. Shut your down, Miss Mom. We taking five, run! Ah! Get him, nigga! No, 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 I'm still here, yo. Can I, can I still come on? Come on. You want some of this? Come on. Get him, Miss Mom. Hey, Miss Von Holland, wait. Let me have a piece of that. Come on now. <laughs> God. Riley. Hey, Riley, look, man. I need somebody to hide. Niggas is shooting, man. What? How? Which one? What? Like, what? which one's Ed and which one's Rummy? I don't know. I can't remember. Let us know. How, 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 how do we How, how do we, do we distinguish between them? Yeah. Is it the necklace or? The glasses. The glasses. Niggas is shooting. Hey! This the car that got pimped out by Exhibit! Say, motherfucker, you hey. on the phone? You talking to me? I'm talking to Riley. Exhibit, that was season one, episode eight, that we couldn't put out because of technicalities. But we did see what Exhibit did to this guy. Right. <laughs> it did to Granddad's car, and it was ridiculous. Hey, y'all see the new rims I got on my bike? This thing has a push button starter like a race car. So you wouldn't even need a key. I know y'all niggas not trying to jack Dorothy. Whoa, whoa! What y'all do? Oh, we just gonna borrow the car for a little while. Don't worry about it. You know, we, we bring it right back. We bring it right back, bro. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold up. Y'all can't take my granddad's car. Stop there. You can't take the car. Whoa, this is. He's gonna have to be a snitch. Yeah. Oh. Who did this? Damn it, hurry up, boy. Tell us who did it. Now you gonna tell me who stole my car, or I'm gonna get my belt, or a two by four and go upside your head. <laughs> Yikes. Never had a two by four. Tell me who stole my car. Nobody steal my car. I paid for my car. But what would my niggas think of me if I snitch? Wait a minute. What niggas? Hey, I got niggas. Where? In the street. What streets? I ain't asking no more. <laughs> Come here. Mm -mm, I can't do it, Granddad. I can't talk to the Popo. Tell Granddad. He's not the police. That's right. You can tell me. You promise not to tell? I promise. I swear on your life. You lying. That's messed up, Granddad. Damn it, boy. Tell me who stole my car. How am I going to get Robert. my butter beans? Uh, Give me a little more time. I get out of them. The officers have orders to take you both in for questioning. I'm sorry. Both of us? I'm afraid so. Don't snitch, Granddad. They don't know nothing unless you tell them. Damn it! Damn it. Damn it. Get, come here. Sir, please release the child. Release the child, sir. Ironically, despite the hip-hop community being the driving force behind the Stop Snitcher movement, rappers tend to snitch on themselves a lot. In 2000, rapper Gangsta Licious reportedly assaulted record executive Johnny Guinness with a tennis racket and a bottle of Hennessy on the set of a music video. Guinness refused to cooperate with authority. But the next day, Gangsta Delicious made an appearance on MTV's TRL. Hold on, hold on. Uh, TRL, uh, oh my god. Wow, TRL, Total is, Request Live. Like, I watch that after school, like, every day. That, oh my god, we're so old. <laughs> that is, yeah, that made me feel really old. Yeah. Uh, Gangsta Delicious, reminds too vicious. Eat she's all day, mmm, delicious. My whole group in this, no doubt we gonna win this. Smack up your moms like I smack Johnny Guinness. Three o'clock yesterday, I don't care what they say. Suckers really shouldn't play, I hit him with the Hennessy. <laughs> I don't care what they say, hit up with the Hennessy. <laughs> I gotta hear this. Oh, man. But, but the next day, Gangsta Delicious made an appearance on MTV.
<laughs> he straight rapped about the assault. TV's TRF. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, drop the beat, drop the beat. Uh, game's delicious. My mind's too vicious. Eat MCs all day. Mmm, delicious. My whole crew up in this. No doubt we gonna win this. Smack up your moms like I smack Johnny Guinness. Three o'clock yesterday. I don't care what they say. Suckers really shouldn't play. I hit him with the Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is some creative writing. That is funny shit. I'm facing it all. I'm crying. Rolling oh. Freeman will talk. I assure you. I say it's time we officially militarized the neighborhood walk. Yeah, oh, no. no. Everyone calm down. I promise you, Riley will talk soon. Do you even have a permit for that gun? Maybe I don't. Come and pry it from my cold, dead hands. Faggot boy. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ruckus in the background. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Ruckus in the back after the F bomb being dropped. Oh man. Faggot boy. Police knew Granddad wasn't robbing the houses. What they didn't know was if he, like Riley, was withholding information. Now, listen here, you little bitch. I'm going to ask you some real simple questions, and I want some real simple answers. Now, you pulled into the garage. You went into the house at 9.15? Yes, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, it was 9.15. So you pulled into the garage and went into the house at 9.15? Yeah, nine. Yes. I looked at my watch, and, and yes, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, 9.15. So you're telling me definitely that you pulled into the garage and went into the house at 8.15? Yes, that's... I believe it was 8.15. Definitely. Now you see something? You know you don't fucked up, right? No! I said no. I said I pulled into the garage <laughs> at... No, no, no. The, uh, you know you don't fucked up, right? No! I said... Wait a minute. I told you I put into but the without garage, Riley talking, the cops had nothing, and Riley wasn't talking. I know y'all seen niggas with spinning rims, right? But check it, check it, check it. I'm saying on the bike, though, and then like when I pop a wheelie, you know me? And that front wheel be up off the ground and keep spinning. Woo-hoo, <laughs> boy, man, nigga. Somebody get me out of here. They just mad because I'm mad. I'm going shoot this fucking kid. I'm going shoot this kid. <laughs> One problem black people have with snitching is that the police don't necessarily protect those that come forward. Take the case of Bernard Jefferson, who helped the police shut down a local crack house. Hey, you did the right thing. So, um, do you think I might need some protection or something? Yeah, that's more the feds thing. Uh, you'll be fine. You see anything weird, you just get... <coughs> He's about to get the shot. Give us a call, all right, buddy? <laughs> okay. Hey, Bernard! You snitch-ass motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> he did not live, but when he refused to identify the man who shot him, he was charged with conspiracy and sentenced to a month in jail. <coughs> I can't believe this little young kid's like this damn man. Boy, get up and go to your room. I'm gonna take me a nap, gonna drink me a Red Bull, then I'm gonna wake up and beat you till you decide to talk. I did everything I could, but if Riley doesn't talk, they're both gonna be charged tomorrow. What the hell is wrong with you? This ain't a movie, Riley. You and Granddad about to go to jail. I can't snitch. This person stole from your family. I tried to stop him. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> May girl. I sit down over there next to Riley? What are you guys talking about? Are you talking about who's doing the break-ins? If you know, you can tell me. I won't tell anybody. Jasmine, are you wearing a wire? Go blue! Go blue! <laughs> what the hell is this? A snitchathon? Man, there's snitches everywhere. They under the bed, too? How about the closet? <laughs> hey there, boys. <laughs> Ooh, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> See, I'm what they call techno savvy. I fucks with the future. Yeah, the problem is we don't live in the future, Ed. We live in the present. And in the present, that shit looks ridiculous. It's not a cybernetic <laughs> ear. It's a fucking cell phone headset. 
The only thing you gonna do with it is call a bitch. And unless the bitch is Martian, there ain't no explanation for the shit to look that damn high tech. Have you seen that shit in the mirror? You look like you're going to a fucking comic book convention. This the house? Yeah, man, this the house. Hold up, hold up, I'm getting a call. Yeah. <laughs> What's good, baby? Yeah. Ain't that one of your grandfather's alarm system? Nah. Nigga, you sure? It says once less a... All right, so Ed must be the dude with the chain with the Wansler because okay. it's got the W. The W in it. Right. Okay. Gotcha. No, 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 no. I ain't seen no naked question. pictures, girl. Yep. Send them to my sidekick. Damn it, Ed, get off that fucking phone. I think we in the. Ah! Oh. Who, who's there? Huh? <laughs> Wrong house. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Motherfucker done shot me. I don't get it. Call. You guys got eleven dollars. Why you dumbass robbing people? Cause I'm an American. Shit, it's the American way, man. Shit, who the fuck was you raised in a third world country? See, as I broke it down to Ed Pops, if people don't have a need, then there won't be no demand. So we out here creating the demand. You know what I'm saying? We Turns out shit, Ed and Rummy were breaking into homes as a way to stimulate sales you know, for once the security service, which was owned by Ed's grandfather. Security, but you know. The irony is, Granddad had already signed up for once the security, and to add insult to injury. It didn't even work. Yeah, well, now nah, y'all get it right next time. You know the cost of bullets are going up. Show sure you're right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> thanks for being so cool about this, Pops. You all right with me? Anyway, Granddad got his car back, and that was that. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. Hey, Ed, give your Granddad my best. <laughs> There's no way. Them ain't no Negroes. It couldn't be them. What the fuck you all looking at? No charges were filed. No way. Nah, baby, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Eddie Rummy just stole my bike. Yeah, yeah, cause I can't stand it. Throw my damn bike. Hey, come back. <laughs> we be back. Bye. What's that, boy? <laughs> Nothing. Where's your bike? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got some insurance on those spinners. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not snitching. <laughs> He's so conflicted. That was funny. The rapping part, I think, was the whole. <coughs> that part. was too. That literally, I had tears in my eyes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the rapping part was that was too funny because they were snitching on themselves. He straight rapped about his own assault, like. That he did. <laughs> oh, guys, that was great. And uh, as always, we really appreciate all the love, support, the like, comment, subscribing, sharing. Thank you, guys. And we will see you on the next one. As always, well, goodbye. Bye.